good morning vlog it's tuesday second day of the week and i'm in the american eagle dressing room about to find the perfect pair of mom jeans hopefully and i just want to hop on my soapbox for another second they have no shorts in my size no shirts in my size only pants american eagle step up all right, so this is the first pair of mom jeans I tried on. I thought they were so cute, but also kind of boring and not the exact style I was looking for for the concert that we're going to, but thought they were really super cute. They fit really nice, um, not too big in the waist, not too tight. Definitely it's going to need a belt. Also got this top. I didn't buy it. I didn't buy anything, but top was a little too small for me. The si high size they went up to in the store was an extra large on top, so... This is the second pair. Okay, guys, I would... Hands down, I would have bought this pair in the store if the concert wasn't all the way in June, and they weren't 60 freaking dollars. Um, to spend $60 on a concert in June was just... I just, I just couldn't pull the trigger, so if they go on sale, I want them. I love them. They're beautiful. They're beautiful. Still terrible top. Yep. Alright, so in my mall, we also have a Rue 21. I've literally never stepped foot into the store. But I was on the internet the other day, and I realized they had a plus size section actually in the store, in the mall. So, I obviously had to check it out. So many cute graphic tees. Um, they're really pushing the Spongebob. They had so many Spongebob shirts. But they had lots of denim. I'm probably going to go back for a jean jacket because I want one like distressed and then I got this cute little crop top as a butterfly I'm super into butterflies this season I don't know why it was super long for a crop top but I really liked it my favorite color is purple so I got it and then this other shirt okay totally out of my comfort zone I don't think I've ever in my life owned a shirt like this it has like that cute like cinch top <laughs> lol idk what it's called but anyways it's really cute flowy really high in the back i don't know i just really enjoyed the top so i also got it good morning beautiful people and happy wednesday well i guess when you watch this it won't be wednesday it'll be sunday but it's wednesday for me so happy wednesday um i've been feeling pretty under weather under the weather this week i don't know i've been really congested here and because of this weird virus scare like so many medications are sold out so i haven't really been taking any i've taken some allergy meds which i'm pretty sure it's allergies because down here in the south it's like 88 degrees and pollen is out and mosquitoes are out and it's already feels like summer to me so i think it's just like the weather change and the pressure but it has really like i can't sleep at night and i don't know so and i'm also eating apples and peanut butter so if you see me chomping away just mind your business so anyways, um, today I'm going to be filming a different video for you guys. Um, it's a, y'all, this peanut butter is being crazy. Okay. I'll edit this out, but. So it's a, a bathing suit haul. So since I'm going to be filming that video today, I'm not going to be on the weekly vlog as much probably, but I figured we could do like a get ready with me so i do not do this every day i only do it when i feel like it and today i'm just feeling like getting some makeup on maybe doing my hair probably not because that's like a lot of extra work <laughs> so um i'll be doing my makeup for the camera which is barely any i use a tinted moisturizer some powder and if you hear my dog chewing away it's because i gave him a bone because he was bothering me a lot so um Tinted moisturizer, some powder, sometimes I use some bronzer, and then some mascara. That's pretty much it. I really, even though I have, like, some problem areas, like, right here I'm breaking out, right here, and I have really, really red cheeks, I feel pretty confident in, like, my natural face, um, so I just don't feel the need to wear makeup all the time. Now, I am trying to fix this junk because it's been a little crazy lately but i'm a woman i'm hormonal right now i'm not really too worried about it um acne is just a part of life so i just i don't know i don't really think too much about it 
or let it bring my confidence down so yeah but i'm gonna finish this plate of apples and my water and get some stuff done on my computer because i need to sign up for my licensure test that i have told myself i'm taking this month because i've been putting it off for like the past six months so taking that day this month i need to go ahead and schedule it because if i don't i'm gonna wait till the last minute and i'm gonna miss the deadline so i'm gonna do that i'm planning my calendar um I'm about to probably get a part-time job so I gotta call those call the people and see what days I can work and all that kind of stuff so busy day today I'm really hungry gonna eat these apples BRB okay so this would be my makeup tutorial but the file was so big I couldn't get into iMovie so that is coming at a later date okay sorry bye hi guys ignore the terrible lighting because this is my kitchen but i was awful this week and i bought some stuff to like meal prep for my lunch but then monday I had an appointment tuesday i went with my sister-in-law and instead of just being like you know what you had a bad week wait till next week i decided to meal prep on wednesday um right now i'm making this <laughs> Sorry, my dog's being weird. I'm making a ground turkey hash with squash and zucchini. I've never had it, but I really like vegetables. My husband hates vegetables. So I'm making it for me to eat for lunch um, throughout the week and probably this weekend because, like I said, I brought it, bought it for the whole week, but it's Wednesday. I didn't... You guys, come pick him up. I don't want him anymore. Take him. Take him. So here's my veggies that I've chopped, guys. Red pepper, zucchini, squash, and I'm sauteing the onions, so. I just had to let you guys know that even if you suck at the beginning of the week, you can still do good things at the end of the week. I gotta go. He's being crazy. Bye. I'll let you guys know how it tastes, okay? And I'll link it in the description. I do not understand how to get this camera to Good morning vlog. Happy Thursday. So, how cute is this cup? Oh, lol. Anyways, so I was supposed to have a pretty busy day today. I was supposed to go take my dog to see my mom's dog Oliver we're not doing this no no get a toy anyways I was supposed to take my dog to see my mom's dog so Oliver to see Anna Kate and then I was supposed to go apply for this like visitor pass to go on the military base that's close to us and then have lunch with my mom but I had a migraine last night that lasted for ever. Like, it hurt so bad I couldn't even make it to the kitchen to get medication. So I just kind of laid there and I ended up dozing off. But like, I woke up and the pain was still there. So when my husband finally woke up this morning, he got me some medicine and I was able to sleep for a few hours while he was at the dentist's office so I'm just way behind schedule so I'm just not gonna make it there today but I'm gonna see them anyways because my sister has another soccer game today but um yeah so that is no fun I'm gonna start keeping headache medicine by my bed because last night was terrible and I do not know why my eyebrows look so dark today I literally think I'm gonna go one day to Ulta and get them to do the brow tint stuff so I don't have this issue where I feel like they're too dark or too light because I suck at eyebrows I just I'm terrible at it so yeah but instead of going with my mom my sister-in-law is coming to live today and we're gonna go eat some lunch and go to Target because I want to find a really cute pair of pants because it's already 88 degrees Oh, I want to find some shorts because it's already 88 degrees here in Alabama which is outrageous but I guess what am I to expect? I'm literally sweating in my own house. I don't know if you can tell. And it's because I just got back from a walk with my dog. But I just... There's just no winning in Alabama. The mosquitoes here, I hope I can get a picture of one. Because they're legitimately bigger than... 
Okay, they're like this big. The mosquitoes are like this big. I couldn't think of anything to compare it to. I'll show you. So like you see this little candle? They're like legitimately this, this big. And they're terrifying and I got bit by one and it was horrifying because it left like this giant well on me. So I wasn't ready for Bucks to be back this early but like Alabama didn't care about my feelings. Did not. Will not. I guess it's good for people who have spring break in March because the water is actually going to be warm but I wasn't ready. I wasn't ready. I'm not. I'm not ready. But anyways, yeah, I just wanted to say good morning and let you guys know I'll probably take you guys along with me to Target so you can see how the shorts fit in the dressing room and if they actually have them Our Target plus size section really is not great It's in the way back corner of Our Target's clothing section. So first we have bathing suits because it's in Alabama and they literally have had bathing suits out since like December Okay, so there's a bathing suit section then there's like straight size clothing and then in the back there's a small plus size section right next to the clearance and the maternity wear um it used to be bigger i feel like but it's just gone downhill um i'll show y'all and then I'm, i have an idea where i'm gonna go in and try literally everything on in our target plus size section and just tell you guys like how they're close to fit and if the material is nice and all that kind of stuff but i don't have time to do that today because the target run will be quick since i have to get to my sister's soccer game but um i just oliver i'm sorry he was licking himself so so yeah i'll show you the shorts that i'm gonna look at also how cute is this top <laughs> I got it at Rue 21 and it's like something I never would have worn before because I sometimes I'm self-conscious of my arms because they're like really big um and also my back but this this shirt comes up really high in the back and it just makes me feel comfortable and confident so yeah I love it and I'll try to show y'all like a full outfit look later when my sister-in-law gets here I'll have her take a picture of me but yeah I just wanted to say hi and now I'm rambling because I just enjoy talking to you guys so bye okay so this is our target that's the front door this is the small little plus size section right here like these two racks all the way back to the wall um they did have some pretty cute jeans and some summery things and 20% off a lot of stuff so Ava and Viv and Universal Thread are the ones that they have in stock at the store the two main brands pretty cute stuff in my opinion ava and viv stuff runs small let me know in the comments if you have the same issues i don't i don't really know if it's just me but whatever so here's some more plus size section i mean stuff and they have this cute little billboard but that whole back wall there's nothing plus size on it so i don't know this is me in the dressing room this is a cute outfit i was wearing these black skinny jeans from american eagle these little cute sandals and then my new favorite top yes and then these are the shorts so they're by universal thread i've never actually had a pair of shorts by them i'll show you how high waisted they are they come way above my belly button i honestly probably could have sized down i got my normal size but I wore them today actually and they were pretty loose by the end of the day definitely should have gotten a belt but I'd rather them be too big than too tight to be honest because I hate when I have clothes in there tight but they were so so comfortable very breathable didn't suffocate me don't feel like you need to size up um probably just stick with your normal size this is just another angle close up. They were pretty distressed. This is the back. They're pretty long. Um, very comfortable. So yeah, 10 out of 10 would recommend. I'll try to link them too if I can find them online. Um, my husband really wanted this Animal Crossing Nintendo Switch. So we woke up super early, went to Target. They were only supposed to have four. They ended up having 10. Whatever, we got it. So Friday was really weird and I fell into this deep dark hole that is The Love is Blind. If you've watched it, please let me know in the comments so we can chat about it. And yeah, so I didn't film it all that day. I just was dragged down in that hole. I don't know if I'd recommend. But then Saturday we did a lot of housework on that house. I was telling y'all about that we were renovating because there was like a leak. So we ripped up a bunch of hardwood so I just did not have time to film I'm editing it really late on Saturday night, and guys, I'm just so tired. 
please like and subscribe to my channel. I'm so glad you guys are here. And that's it. Bye.